Hi everyone, I'm Gary Shapiro. We are here with some special guests tonight. This is John and Vicki Dudash, and their daughter Avery passed away, oh, 19, uh, in 12, right, 2012. And uh, they've become really involved with the Morgan Adams Foundation, and we want to talk to them a little bit about that. Thank you guys very much. Uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about Avery. Well, I guess the thing I can say about Avery is that she was, she was an old soul. Um, she had an understanding of life that was far beyond her years. And um, if, if you were to ask her about horses, she would tell you that she was practically born on the back of a horse. So um, her basket that we put together for her was based on all those different kinds of things that she loved. Um, if you asked her what she wanted to be when she grew up, she would tell you that she wanted to be Taylor Swift. Um, who doesn't want to be Taylor Swift? <laughs> and, um, you know, a lot of her favorite things all involved horses, Hawaii and Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah. It, it, must, have been, uh, it must have been horrible when she passed away. But uh, talk a little bit about what she went through before that point. She was uh, diagnosed in August of 11 and passed away in June of 12. And, um, and it, it obviously turned our entire world upside down when she was diagnosed. So we, we can't thank uh, the, the team at Children's Hospital of Colorado enough for everything they did. That, that really is, for people that are fortunate enough to not have ever gone through it, that's an extraordinary group of people. And we're so thankful at the foundation to be a part of, of helping raise money for the critical research that they do. Yeah. Uh, this is the basket that uh, represents Avery, and, and uh, you guys put this together with her in mind. Talk a little bit about what's in there and why. Well, as I mentioned, it's pretty much everything that uh, kind of she loved the most. Uh, a little bit of horse stuff, um, a little bit of beach stuff, and um, she loved to read, um, and she loved Taylor Swift. So there's some CDs, and she liked to do art and those kind of things. That was just kind of all of her favorite stuff. Yeah, that is wonderful. And all of the baskets in this table represent different kids who, uh, who have uh, been putting up with this and, uh, and their likes and, and that sort of thing. So that is terrific. You took this horrible event and have really made an effort to turn it into something positive. You guys got involved with the Morgan Adams Foundation. Talk a little bit about that. So we, we did. We, we, got, uh, we came to Concours in 2012 and were immediately smitten by this foundation. So we've been involved ever since. Vicki's in the office about a day a week working with the Morgan Adams team and I hold a position on our board of directors. Um, for us, frankly, this has become a way of continuing the fight that took so much from us. So it, it's the foundation has really become like our extended family and, and part of Avery's treatment actually included a clinical trial drug that was partially funded by the foundation. So obviously we all wanted the drug to work for her but she thought it was really, really cool to be part of a clinical trial to, to potentially find a drug that might help other kids that get the same diagnosis. So that's, that's the kind of research that, that our little foundation that could funds. That is what it's all about tonight. It is all about the kids. Um, it's all about raising money for the kids. So if you uh, talk a little bit about what your message is to all of the people that are here tonight. I think for us, you know, even though the doctors weren't able to, to cure Avery's cancer, um, the research that this foundation funds um, allowed the doctors to identify toxic treatments that didn't work. And through that, it allowed Avery to have quality of life and to live her life through cancer. Um, you know, we're all, you know, all the research and all the, the kiddos, including Morgan, that came before Avery, um, you know, they made, made a difference and it, it made a difference for us. And so our hope is that events like this tonight will help us to continue to, um, to raise money to make a difference for all the kids that will come after Avery. John and Vicki, thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting you and, and what you do is just so wonderful. Keep it up. Thanks, thank Gary. You. Okay. All right. That's it from here.